Through Redaction Administration, you can create and manage redaction labels and redaction sets that are available to users who have the permission to redact documents. From the left navigation bar, click the Administration button. Under Review Tools, click Redaction Settings. The Redaction Label is the name of the Redaction button, which when selected, allows users to place a redaction box over text they wish to remove in the document. To create a new redaction label, click the Add New Redaction Label button at the top of the Redaction Settings page. In the Add Redaction Label dialog box, enter the name for the button at Label Text. Enter the text for the redaction box at Redaction Text. This is the text that will appear over the redaction that is made by the reviewer and will be seen when viewing the redacted version of a record. You are given options for adjusting the font of the label. You can select the font style and font size from the corresponding drop-down menus. Select the color palette at Font Color to change the color of the text. If you'd like the text to appear in bold, check the Is Bold box. You can also include a tooltip that will appear when a user points at the redaction button. This is optional and can be left blank if you don't want to include a tooltip. Next, select the alignment for the label text from the Label Text Alignment drop-down menu. Select the redaction box color and the border color using the color palettes at Box Color and Box Border Color. If you'd like this redaction box to be the default choice, select the Is Default checkbox. Allow User Edit will allow users to edit the look of the redaction text, such as font, color, or text of the label. All users with permissions to redact will be able to adjust the font of the redaction labels so that the redaction text will fit into the box they are drawing. Use this checkbox with care. You typically do not want your redaction team to be able to edit anything but the font size. Click the Add button to add the redaction label to the redaction labels list. The new redaction button will now be available for users in the redaction module. To edit an existing redaction label, click the Pencil button to open the Edit Redaction Label dialog box. Click the Trash Can button to remove the redaction label so that it is no longer available for reviewers to use when redacting. Redaction sets will allow reviewers to redact the same record different ways for different productions. You can create multiple redaction sets and instruct the reviewers to save a redacted version to the appropriate set. Typically, a case will start with a default redaction set. To create a new redaction set, click the Add New Redaction Set button at the top of the Redaction Settings page. Enter a name for the new redaction set in the Add New Set Name box. Now enter a description that will appear as a tooltip to users. Select the Is Default checkbox to designate this set as the default set. This set will be used to store redacted versions until a user selects a different set. Click Add to add to the list of redaction sets. To edit an existing redaction set, click the Pencil button to open the Edit Redaction Set dialog box. Click the Trash Can button to remove the redaction set so that it is no longer available for reviewers to use when redacting. You can view the redacted versions of documents by clicking on the magnifying glass button. This will display a list of documents that has been redacted. The redacted documents list is sortable by column headings, so you can easily find the document you're looking for. For example, if you'd like to see a redacted version created by a particular user, click Started By to sort by user. Click the magnifying glass button from this list to open the redacted version of the document.